Hello there everyone and how are you guys today? Well, we would just like to remind you to to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already now. Well, hello there sunflowers and how are you guys today? Oh, well, I am here. Hold up, I have to contain my excitement. I am here to do a reading on Chappelle Rome. I'm just going to pronounce it the way I think it is. Chappelle Rome. If you here. And why am I here to do a reading on her? Okay, well, I have um, a doozy here. So she is a recently um, popularized artist. I have yet to actually fully listen to her music. I've heard it in snippets and I'm not quite sure if it's up my alley of music, but I will still listen to it. But she um, is a hot topic because she curses out her fan. I don't want whatever the fuck you think you're supposed to be entitled to whenever you see a celebrity. I don't give a fuck if you think it's selfish of me to say no for a photo or for your time or to for a hug. That's not normal. That's weird. It's weird how people think that you know a person just because you see them online or you listen to the art they make. That's fucking weird. I'm allowed to say no to creepy behavior. I'm not even sure if you could call it a curse. She just talks really bad to her fans. I'm not even sure if it's like worse than Doja Cat talks to fans because I'm not sure where the animosity is coming here because Doja Cat talks to her fans the exact same kind of way. So I don't know why we're holding a double standard here to Chappelle, but mind that. I guess maybe that's new newbie privilege. You know, she's probably new. They're just like, oh, you got to be um, a certain way with your fans, you know, build up the audience before you talk bad to them. But honestly, she's building a rapport. Like they say, it's you get what you get with her. So, you know, at least she's putting it right straight out there. And if y'all don't like it, she don't care if y'all don't like it. But this is actually kind of con this is actually kind of interesting because she used to be like the outcast of like everything and now that she's famous she has this big f you attitude to everybody that just did not believe in her and like trashed her and now she's going to be i guess doing the same thing back to you guys even though it's displaced anger because you guys as the fans is not the one she should be talking trash to it should be all the ones and people you know how high school middle school is people want to tear you down especially if you have um especially if you're just like a little bit off or just a little bit weird or you just don't fit quite into the norm you're gonna get outcasted and that's how Chapler um that's how Chappelle feels so now that she is finally gained fame and notoriety she um, maybe has used that to take it as an ego trip and now um is going on a revenge which is not the best thing to do with your career especially at the very beginning, but hey, I get it. She has all this built up energy inside of her that she just feels to pent and release. So on that end, I totally, I don't get that part, but I get the authenticity in herself and saying the fact is, I get it. The, the whole beef now is the fact that she's just like, yeah, I'm famous and being famous comes with people coming up to me but I have anxiety and they're going to come up to me and ask pictures for me. No, you cannot have pictures with me. And you guys are going to get mad at me because I'm rejecting you guys, but I really don't care what you guys have to say. We're seeing the double standard here. We seeing the two sidedness of the whole situation, but I get it. So that's why she's getting some hate. Cause they're just like, Hey, that's, that's what comes with being famous. If you don't want it, don't be famous, which I definitely agree. If that's going to be your sentiment and attitude and the way you feel to somebody, I just heard somebody said that they poured their guts and heart out to you. Yes, I get it. Celebrities do get that. But to hear finally was like, okay, I'll talk to her now that she turned around and she was like, hey, why have you been following me? And I just said, 
um, I'm in love with you. I love you so much. Um, you got me through, your album got me through my cat dying and my grandma dying this year and I haven't been able to pay my student loans, but your album gets me to wake up in the morning. Every single morning I turn on your album and I pray that one day that I can talk to you and I hope that one day we will be together forever. And to that she just said, cool? And then she said, please don't follow me anymore. And she like ran away. That somebody said that your, their music got you through the death of your grandmother and your cat all in the same year. And you're just going to, maybe you, maybe she was just having a bad day that day, but just going to like nonchalant be like, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Nothing like that. Just a cool. Okay, I get it. A little, a little butt hurt right there. I totally understand that. But... That's also how Chappelle feels. She's like, I'm a normal person. Please don't spill your guts out to me. I'm just like you. There's nothing special about me. Which, I totally get her sentiment too. We gotta stop putting these celebrities on pedestals. And maybe this Gen Z, Gen Alpha, we're going to be the people that come up into these um, places and are going to shake up the industry to remind people that, hey, celebrities, yeah, we may say they not like us, but they really are just like us, just with money, even though money makes people go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Anyway, all that, that's all I have to say about Chappelle Lerone and what is going on in her career. And I just want to figure out, I picked this card, I was a little bit biased with this card picking, but also, um, I just wanted to pick this card because I, she seems like she wants to come from a genuine place but just the way she goes about it is um, not very digestible. And I think that's what her beef is. But we're going to figure out what her beef is with her career and um, if she can sustain this career. Let's see. Let's see. I wouldn't be surprised if she's an Aquarius. Oh, my God. Let me see what her zodiac sign is. Don't tell me I was bright. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. She's a Pisces. Let me check the Pisces. Because I I won't believe it till I see it. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. That's what it is. She's a Pisces. She's born on February 19th. But February 19th is that cusp borderline because it's the first day of Pisces. But on some days, it can be the last day of Aquarius. So I knew she had some Aquarius energy in her. Also in that people that are born on a cusp like that, they are just really fish out of water and awkward in that sense because they're in this new energy. And we see it. She's very emotional. So she's very... Um, in this life, she is not used to the emotional side of um, what she's going through in this particular life existence. So because of that, she could come off a little bit more clumsy, a little bit more awkward, or maybe too more emotional or too detached like an Aquarius could be. And so um, how can we describe this? so harsh and thinking about how to describe an Aquarius if you guys know how to describe an Aquarius or if you've ever had experiences with Aquarius but just the air element itself can be very cold and cutthroat which you can see um, Chappelle very very much has and she does that ironically with her emotions as a Pisces that water sign so she uses her intuition and how she feels and her creativity and her magical gifts as well to express how she feels. But um, leaving astrology aside for the moment, we are going to pick a card. We're going to pick some cards to represent um, Chappelle Rome's career. <laughs> We're starting off great RA. Oh, I am loving this. Okay. Okay, 
what I see in this very moment. Actually, I'm just going to pick a few more cards because... Okay, there we go. I wanted a little bit more fuller picture. So, what I see currently that Chappelle um, is going on in her career is mentally, she has something weighing heavy on her, which is also a trait of a Pisces. I'm not sure exactly what time she was born. I tried looking that up. They don't have a birth time out on her, and if they do, the website I used did not say it was a very credible um, time. So therefore, I'm not going to use a time that's not very credible because I don't want to misjudge her based off of a wrong time. So with that, we just know that she's an Aquarius and, uh, sorry, a Pisces. She's a Pisces. Um, but Pisces rules the 12th house and the 12th house is all about mental things, things that keep hidden, things that you don't... Um, way want to acknowledge or even acknowledge within yourself and not even other people might not know about you so it's like things that really run deep and that in and of itself could represent a Pisces too so with that that kind of energy is in her head so she's definitely um maybe self-conscious and self-aware how she comes off in the media but also at the same time as I said earlier, it's all that pent up energy, all that stuff that she had suppressed for so long. She's now just letting it all come out. And because of that, she could, um, cause we have here at the bottom with her career, she, she wants to be famous, but all at the same time, maybe, um, the nice way to put it, is she wants the she seeks the attention or the validation of the public to help heal a wound or something with inside of herself however she doesn't want what comes with it because she has those wounds and insecurities about herself that being in the public eye triggers those things inside of her and even though she's trying to court the public and trying to create a fan base and trying to you know sustain her career she can't help but think about all the things that she's buried with inside of herself very deep within herself and it's going to be coming out. And as a Pisces who is using music as a form of expression, that's just going to come out. I'm not sure about her lyrics or anything about like that, but that's just going to come out in maybe her music, how she presents herself to the world, because now she finally feels free and feels to be authentic to herself. I think she even made a little joke reference about why she wears um, a, like a white mask about something about how she was like people always thought she was like wearing a mask and now or that she, she was like a clown or something i have a call keep people clowns yes. and it's like that's why i i don't say this very often that is why i actually wear my white face is because of how these call So she's joking at about it now, like, ha ha, who's the clown now, y'all? That's well, that's how she's coming off in the media because that's just all the things she had deep seated with inside of herself. So because of that, um, it just happens to come out and play in the media. And um, I do like what people say that she really doesn't have media training. I don't know where her PR team is, but hey, you know, this is the day and age where you really just have to be authentically yourself and be who you are and who what like you shall follow you and like they say you will find your soul tribe that's what i've been hearing lately so um but what i see in her past looking back into her past and seeing what was going on in her past life um not her past life woo, but seeing like what was going on in her past before she became relatively famous because i think 2024 was her big breakout here so what was chapelle rome before her big breakout this year we see here i'm gonna we're gonna start a little farther here the occupation we see her facing her occupation and um 
The question is, what could she have been using to preoccupy herself with, with her career? Like, yeah, this was in her past. Like, now she has an occupation, but that, but that, but back then, was there something preventing her? Um, oh, I forget her backstory, but I definitely know that she went to college. I'm not quite sure if she finished and got her degree, and I'm not sure if it was something in biology either, but I could be wrong on that one. I was thinking about coming, becoming an esthetician or something, but the other thing I'm really good at is um, genetics. So I was like, either singer or genetic person. So. <clears throat> but all that she was, and then she just finally said, you know what, she wanted to go and do music. I'm not sure if she was like trying to please her parents and like going to college and she knew that she always wanted to do music or like have it as a side hobby. But now she is going full throttle that could have back in her past she could have been preoccupying herself with other things that kept her from being the potential that she is now which is the um the, the stardom girl that we are getting in the media but it all begs me to wonder i actually do think this occupation has to deal with the fact that she, it was to preoccupy to appease or please her um parents because this marriage card i i don't think she i'm pretty positive she is single so i don't see what this marriage card could symbolize besides the fact it could symbolize her parents or um authority figures that are overseeing this occupation which she was preoccupying herself with in the past so going home, honing back in on that story a little bit, that this could be her parents that was guiding her career and now she is breaking out of the cage. That's the best way to put it. I like that. Breaking out of the cage is as the sense of not trying to please anyone, not trying to be a people pleaser, but just be her self pleaser, fulfill herself, do what she needs what she wants, how she feels, the way she feels, it should be done. And with that, she is seeing that she has um, paved a way for herself. But actually, a little bit further back in in her mind, she um, this jurisdiction card symbolizes somebody that has um, overall say in what you do. And in her thoughts, in her mind, that she has a lot of things going on in her thoughts. We're going to get there. But in her thoughts in the past was about this marriage card and about this jurisdiction, talking about how her um, parents, I'm not sure if she lived home or not, but just the fact, or if not, she might have lived in the dorm, but all the fact that she um, was trying to do something, trying to to live a certain way, walk a certain line, followed by certain rules. And now that she has broken from that, we have the well card here of maybe trying to deprogram, leave those things behind, try not to think so much about, oh, what are they going to think? What are they going to say? They're watching me. They're judging me. You know, just take this as a, take this as a leap of faith in her career. And yet it may come with some burdens and what she was doing beforehand also came with some burdens as well. And you no matter what you do, you're just going to, burdens is such a bad way to say it. No matter what you do, it's always going to come with some downsides. So with that, it's like luck of the draw, you know, pick the, like they say, the lesser of two evils. You know, does she want to live an unauthentic life? living a certain way to please a certain kind of people or is she and therefore she's going to allow what people said about her to box her in cage to box her in cage her in define her and label her and say that this is who Chappelle Rome is is and is going to be and instead she took the ring reins into her own hands and decided to um control her own life take you know like they say take take her take the own wheels into her hands and now she's steering her own car and her own vehicle 
in her own person, in her own identity. And she is she's trying to live it authentically as she can. But like I said, at the same time, she also feels like she has to have that people-pleasing aspect of herself because we see in her future career there is emotion. She is definitely emotional. It's it's quite the the term emotional doesn't always have to mean like sad, but just like emotional in the sense of off balance, you know, not emotionally um, sensitive or out of touch emotionally. But also, this could be her. Well, because it's in her pa in her future, and she quite isn't paying attention to it quite yet. And right above it is her thoughts because she's so preoccupied. Here it is. She's so preoccupied with the past. So. Okay. She. Okay, this is how the cards is. She is so busy, preoccupied looking at the past that she doesn't see all the um, feelings and thoughts that she's harboring in herself and how that could ultimately get in her way. Um, the, like they say, the only um, person that can get in the way of your blessings is your own self. So while she has accomplished this fame, and like, yes, may she have anxiety. Yes. Okay. You could, you have money now you could probably go get some prescriptions for that if she wasn't already so you know and if that's the case you know i hate to say it but girl like take your meds if that's the case like don't let your you want to you want to be so unboxed you so do not want to be defined by the past and what people labeled you as that you're so focused in on that energy and here it is if you're so um, if you're so focused on a certain type of thing and you're going to dwell on it, think about it, um, still be stuck in it, still reliving and replaying it in your mind. It's still that energy is still in your body. It hasn't left your body. Yes, you can process it, but once you process it, you're gonna have to be able to move on from it and not dwell on it. And yeah, when you think about it, it doesn't consume you. It doesn't overtake you. It doesn't give you anxiety. It doesn't make you act out irrationally or it doesn't make you come off more aggressive in the media than you intend to. If she's able to do all of that and let that go and let that be in the past, she will be able to grow out of the box and the labels and the things that people have told her that she is. If she, if she just realizes who she is, what she's accomplished, See that people really do love you. Yes, you have fame. You have fans. People want to come up to you because they love you. Not because they... I don't know what her anxiety mind is thinking, but it's just stress. Social anxiety, let's so call it. I gotta shut the f*** up. You missed the spot. overwhelming and quite scary um, I think for someone who gets um, a lot of uh, anxiety around people yelling at you it, it the, the carpet is horrifying she has the social anxiety but these people are truly fans that love you want to take pictures they like yeah they put you up to a pedestal sorry that just comes with the business but you but now your voice is able to help and save people when you needed that voice you didn't have that voice now you're that voice for people and you're going to alienate them and do the exact same thing that you were felt when you was going through those things you're just perpetuating the hate and that eternal reality of feeling alienated and not being liked it's just going to come out and be your reality all over again you thought you got away from it but you didn't you're still you thought you got away from it, but you're still living in it because you're constantly dwelling on it, constantly thinking about it, and it's going to consume her career. And that's just for anybody that is constantly dwelling on things. <clears throat> I will put some um, quotes up here that I was seeing from Gaia. 
that um, will hopefully draw those in for you guys because that's what I really want to stress to her because that is the thing that is holding her back that could hold her back in her career is her attitude because she is still looking at it from baby chaperone instead of grown mature chaperone and because of that this message of concern which now i understand is her career could be jeopardized because the fans that were there to love her is not going to tolerate the way she comes off like she's just like like you're like you're just really being disrespect disrespectful to people that just genuinely want to thank you and appreciate you for everything you've done and you're just giving them hate that's 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 just that's all your fans just want to feel a little reciprocated feel a little bit heard i'm sure you can understand how that feels chaperone you could be that beacon of voice to let them know hey you're not alone your voice already tells them that and then when they come and meet you it's almost like a facade it's like a whole fake it's like now that you got all this fame and glitz and glamour you don't really care about what you're singing about you're not living or preaching or standing by what you sing about like where where was this girl is this this it's like who 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 is this famous girl that I like become to me in person and that's the double mask that um that comes with the fame. It's like fans have this ideal Im image of her, which she which is what she's trying to break down and say that hey, don't have this image of me. What you see of me, just don't put me on a pedestal, just just listen to my music. That's all she wants. It's just like, just listen to my music. Come support me. That's all. She's like, whatever you guys want from me, I don't want to give it to you. Just, she wants it to be kind of like a one way, but not really a one way because if it's one way, how are you, how are you going to feel connected to your fans? And with that, she is on this journey and where this journey will lead her. Will it lead her into the music industry to have a sustaining career or will this lead her to that isolation that she didn't want and ultimately will put herself back into that place again? And then once you're there and you have that name and have that stigma, if she tries to come back, she's already going to have that. It's like, how are you going to come back from that mean girl? I, I even heard pretentious. Mm, mm, you don't want all those names. Um, with that, I hope we enjoyed this reading on Chappelle Lerone. And with that being said, the best way I could sum this up is that she needs to get her attitude in check. That's the best way we could put it. It's not really an attitude. It's how she feels. But she's coming from a place of not seeing her potential and how she has grown and still seeing herself in this trapped less than person instead of who she is now and because of that if she can't continue to see the the beauty in herself then her career and what she has created for herself might also crumple with that as well so with that being said i hope you enjoyed this reading and i will see you guys in the next one please leave a comment down below on somebody you would like me to read on and please subscribe if you had not subscribed. It would really help the channel. We would appreciate it. And with that being said, I will see you guys later. Sunflowers!